This is a special edition. We're doing a special series of episodes here where I'm introducing you to some incredible people because they're all a part of a compilation book that my partner Jake Fowler and I put together called Hunger for the Hustle. And we are interviewing all of the authors. So you get a chance, a little, little bit of an insight into how brilliant and amazing these people are. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another special edition of the Marketing Wizards Inner Circle. My name is Michael Bridgman, which you already knew, but I have someone very special with me today. I have somebody super amazing with me today. I have another of our incredible authors in the Hunger for the Hustle compilation book, which comes out on December the 3rd. I am so pleased and excited to bring to you today, Mr. Jay Reese, all the way from his newly fixed car. Hello, Jay. <laughs> Hello, everyone. How you doing? Um, I'm uh, thank you for your patience of me being doing this in my car. It's just as Mike was saying, I just got my tires done. So I had to like make sure I was here. There you go. I hear you. I'm getting my tires done today too. So we're mutually exclusive, my friend. Right. There exactly. you go. Perfect. Now, Jay, where are you from? So are you, do you need snow tires where you are? Um, luckily, um, I'm in Eastern Tennessee. Okay. I, I only need all weather tires. Yeah, yeah. Um, Sometimes we do get a little bit of snow, but it ices more than anything around here around January and February, but all weather tires are usually fine. Perfect. Okay. Well, we just want to know that you're safe, my friend. We just want to know that you're nice and safe. I'm good. <laughs> all right. So you have got a chapter in the I Hunger do. for the Hustle book. And so tell us a little bit about, tell our audience here about the chapter and what should they expect when they're, uh, when they're picking up the book and reading Jay Reese's chapter. Absolutely. So, Clearly, I don't want to give everything because we want people to buy the book and to read it, right? You but bet. what I will say is my chapter is about rediscovering myself. It's all about how I let people project their own fears onto myself, which kept Ooh. me stuck Love that. in yeah. a place that I just didn't want to be for a long time. And I felt like I had to be someone that I wasn't. And it wasn't until... I learned how to find my superhero within that mm. I was able to rise and fulfill everything that I needed and wanted to do. I love that, my friend. I love it. So your chapter is really about that, that idea of how to fight through other people's labeling and other people's description of you. And they're other people telling you what you should and couldn't be and really realizing your, as you call it, your superpower and your superhero greatness. Absolutely. I love it, my friend. I love it. Okay, so so now with that in mind, wh where is Jay these days? And we know you're in Tennessee. You just told us that, but but what are you <laughs> what are you up to? Like, what I, we started this book a couple of years ago, putting it all together, mm -hmm. and now it's coming to fruition. So, what's your journey been for the last few years? So, well, I have been really working on several fantasy novels that I plan on releasing all love throughout um, 2023. And also, um, I actually just launched a podcast with a friend of mine. It's called Across the Pond and Back Again. Okay. So look out for that coming soon. It's on YouTube and various different um, podcast apps where we just simply discuss topics that a lot of people don't try to talk about and mm. just relevant things that just happen in the news cycles. Plus, a little funny, a little serious, various different things. So, yeah, okay. that's where I'm at right now. Beautiful. Okay. It's called Across the Pond and Back Again? Correct, sir. Okay. Beautiful. Love it. All right. So <clears throat> walk us through then as a reader, if I'm reading your chapter and I I get to the end, what type of impact are you hoping your chapter has on me as a reader? And, and what are you hoping I can glean from it? I'm really hoping that once people finish reading my chapter particularly, they will understand that they don't have to conform to whatever pressures they've had in life, that you right. have the ability to break free and do whatever it is that you feel or you're compelled to do. Now, granted, I understand we all have responsibility that you just can't throw away. And sometimes you have to take the time to really think about how you're going to get out of that situation. But once you finish reading my chapter, I really, really hope that you understand that you have the tenacity and the ability to go out there and do and achieve whatever it is that you feel called to do. Oh, brilliant, buddy. Brilliant. I love that. And that is really such a huge part of your story, Jay. I love your tale because it's so much like people were telling you, they were really putting you in a box, right? They were yes. so framing you in and because mm -hmm. I mean, they were putting you in corporate boxes. They were putting you all these things and, and you oh, can yes. tell that you're like, oh, this is just not <laughs> fitting oh, with yes. me. 
And yeah, you had to unshackle and then put the cape on and, and it's dangerous, man. It's, I, it's I, difficult I, and scary. Absolutely. And um, Michael, you remember from when, from my chapter is that one of the biggest things was I let my family member, my family members talk yeah. me into so many things from when I was young and that mentality stuck with me everywhere else. And I yeah. had to break free from that because we don't often realize that sometimes it's the people that love us the most who put us in these boxes. And yes, my corporate life was definitely a part of that as well. Yeah, love it. Okay, perfect. So my friends, if you're watching this right now, you can get your hands on this book. Get your fingers all over Jay Reese's chapter, absorb it and Absolutely. soak it up. Starting on December the 3rd, that is our launch date. So just down below this, you are going to see a link to join our private launch Facebook group. So you'll get all the information about how to join the launch and all those things in the private Facebook group. Plus Jay is going to be in that group. So you can, you know, Absolutely. you can, exactly. We're going to feature you in the group, Jay. Uh, so Jay will be speaking in the group at times. He'll be sharing some wisdom and some insights into what's going on in his life. And maybe a little teasers about where you can find his new upcoming fantasy novel, which would be really cool. Yes. Um, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and then from there, just tell us, Jay, why are you excited to be a part of this project? What is, what is being part of hunger for the hustle mean to you? Well, as you said, um, the book has been at the least two years in the making. Um, I felt like I was one of the core people there, like when the yeah. book first started and just the fact of hunger for the hustle, the title itself to me just means so many different things, mostly just when you are at a point where you need something different or just throughout your life or maybe months, just going through this process of knowing you deserve so much more or at the very least want so much more to be able to go out there and do it. I feel this project will be able to give people that encouragement to do it. Love it, my friend. Love it. Absolutely beautiful. Well, thank you so much, Jay, for being on the Marketing Wizards oh, Inner Circle show. And thank you for having me. Today. Yeah, even if it's from your car, but you got your brand new tires, you are set to go, my friend. Oh, I'm rolling nicely. It's so yeah. smooth. I love it. Beauty, beauty. Um, so thank you so much for watching, everybody. Once again, December the 3rd is the launch date. Join the Facebook group. It's in the description below. You are incredible audience. Thank you so much for watching and have a fabulous day. Ciao for now. Yeah.